as the 3-1 is taking a right field. That's down the line, deep and gone. Henry Kohler has homered. Working quickly. That's launched to right field, going back, back. It is out of here. Garner Hansen puts the minimum on the board. It's three to one. This pitch is grounded right back to fix. He'll go to set. Oh, no one's covering the bag at second. And that gets away. And here comes Michael Tolt to score. Fielding miscue by Davidson ties the game. 3-3. Three, three. Two runners on. Two balls, two strikes here in the bottom of the sixth inning. The Minutemen knocking on the door. Here's the pitch. Will McLean pops it up. Going back is Hinderliner. He, it'll drop again. And here comes Blumenthal to score. And the Minutemen have taken the lead. More defensive miscues for Davidson. Hello and welcome to Earl Lorden Field on this beautiful but chilly Saturday afternoon. I am John Ruggiero alongside Noah Glickman and with Brendan McGrevy in the studio. We are here for some A-10 baseball action. It's the 4 and 17 UMass Minutemen going up the 17 and 11 Davidson Wildcats. Noah, yesterday did not go so well for the Minutemen as they lost the first game of the series 9 to 2. The first two Davidson batters, Nick Calero and Ryan Wilson, homered off of Max LeBlanc. So Noah, how do you think the Minutemen can get off to a better start today? Welcome back to Earl Lord and Field here for the bottom of the seventh inning. The Minutemen batter's coming up. It'll be Hill, Toth, and Blumenthal do up. And there is a Davidson pitching change as Bennett Flynn comes in to this one. Yeah, Bennett Flynn has 362 ERA on the year, 1.41 whip on the year with 45 strikeouts. So we've certainly seen some good relieving from uh, Bennett Flynn as of late. We sure have. 3-0 on the year, win-loss record. 27 innings pitched. So 45 strikeouts and 27 innings pitched is pretty, it's pretty good and should be pretty good against this UMass lineup. But we'll see if they can kind of keep themselves alive here as they've kind of proved uh, versus yesterday. Flynn spent time with the Bourne Braves in the Cape Cod League last summer. He only pitched three innings, gave up one run, so that's a perfect ERA of three even, but he struck out five through those three innings. Really proving himself this season so far, though, as you mentioned, Noah, that 3.62 ERA. But up to bat is Sam Hill. Up to the plate, number four, Sam Hill. He is singled on his last time up. Yeah, one for one. A single and a walk. So, good day so far to, for Sam Hill. Trying to add to it here with the relief pitcher on for the Wildcats. Here is the first pitch. Dropped for ball one. Looks like it could have been a strike, but if a friend held on there, Probably would have been. Could have been a strike. Seemed like a curveball with a lot of movement as well. Flynn set for the 1 0. Swing and a miss. Strike one. A healthy hack there by Sam Hill. Just late on it, but of course, trying to get the Minutemen on the board here. Here's the 1-1, one, one. swing and miss once again, or fouled into the mitt. Regardless, that's strike two. Another healthy hack, definitely being more aggressive at the plate, swinging at these good pitches. So that's what UMass needed to do later on in this game, which they are doing. The 1-2 on the way. Swing and a miss, but it gets away from Friend. Down to first goes Hill, and he'll be safe. What hustle there by Hill to really Keep the catcher on his toes, to keep friend on his toes, and to get into first safely. A bit of a check swing there, definitely went around, but that ball was in the dirt. Got away from friend. Ball rolled down the first base line towards the Davidson dugout, but Hill with the good speed, the first base. Yeah, friend couldn't really hold on to it. It kind of bounced in the dirt and was like an awkward, took an awkward bounce off of his chest padding. So. Couldn't really hold on to it, but nonetheless, it's certainly a good hustle there by Sam Hill. 
here's Michael Toth. 0 for 2 on the day. The strikeout and a fly out to left field. Here is the pitch. He fakes the bunt, but that was a strike as he caught the zone. Sam Hill getting the lead at first. No steals on the year. That one misses for ball one. Bit of hesitation and a word there from Jacob Friend to the umpire as it kind of seemed like he caught the inside of the zone. It's a pretty tough pitch there. The first thing I heard after that pitch was, wow. <laughs> I'm assuming someone from the Davidson dugout. Anyways, here is the 1-1 one -one from Flynn. That one misses as well. 2-1. and one. Just down in the zone there. Both trying to improve that 300 average coming into this game. The two and one, swing and a miss. Two and two. Another good hack there. Trying to get more aggressive at the plate as they are. But just passed right by him. Davidson pitchers putting out their best stuff today. Minutemen trying to capitalize on any mistakes. The two and two, down in the zone, full count. Michael Toth battling here. Realizes we're late in this game. Bottom seven. Down by three. Still in this one. Pickoff attempt at first on Hill. Not in time as O'Shaughnessy put down the tag. Trying to get back at the Minutemen uh, for all those pickoff attempts and of course the, the one that ended the inning. So kind of seems like a little bit of redemption there. Three and two. That misses. Ball four. A loud cheer from the Minutemen dugout. Trying to match the energy of Davidson's. Yeah, a high off-speed pitch there. Had a lot of had a lot of movement on it, but couldn't get down in time as it was just high in the uh, just high of the zone for ball four. Now it's Justin Blumenthal, also 0 for 2 on the day, but now he's got a runner in scoring position. Prime opportunity for the Minutemen. Hill on second, Toth on first, Blumenthal at the plate. He is the tying run as a fake bunt goes for another strike. That's the second at bat in a row where Minutemen went to bunt, pulled it back, but it was called for a strike. Bennett Flynn ahead in the count, 0-1. Looking at Sam Hill at second. And here comes the pitch. Yeah. Missed the bunt there was Blumenthal, and now it's 0-2. A yeah, bit of a weird bunt there. He kind of like dragged the bat down while he was held, while it was held out. So it kind of seemed like it was a bit of a swing there, or but the, the ball was in the zone anyway, so the count's 0-2. The 0-2. Yeah. Just missed. Wow. Ball one. Tough pitch there. The Davison bench was confident. They were confident they would get that call. Just missed inside, perhaps. Here comes the one two. That's strike three looking once again. Down goes Blumenthal. Another looking strikeout on the low breaking ball. Not what UMass needs. That's really a confidence drainer. Yep. Now it takes one ground ball by Zach, Zach Zayeda, and the Wildcats are out of the sitting. But here is Zayeda. I believe he is 0 for 3 on the day. Prime opportunity to get the bat going for him with a runner in scoring position. 
Here it comes. Check swing, strike. Not sure if that was on the swing or on the, if it caught the zone. Kind of tough pitch there, seemed a bit outside. It didn't look like he swung either. No, it looked like he held back in time. Now Reynolds wants a quick word. Bennett Flynn is ready to deliver the 0-1. One out, bottom of seven, 3-0 Wildcats. Miniman with the runner in scoring position, the tying run at home batting. Here's the pitch, misses high. Ducked out of the way, Zayada ducked out of the way. Uh, thought that ball would hit him in the head. Sayeda is ready for the 1-1. One, one. That'll drop in for strike two. Got to be aggressive on those pitches, especially a breaking ball down the middle like that. It's been tough today. Don't want to go down looking anymore. Not what the Minutemen can afford at this stage of the game. Here's the 1-2. Swing fouled back. So you to keep this at bat alive. He is ready for the one two. Flynn delivers, swing and a miss, strike three. Zayana goes down, swinging, two outs. Got him with the high fastball, just gets over it. It seemed like he got over the ball, uh, was confident on that fastball, but just got over it and a bit late as it just whiffed through it. Here is Will McLean. Be a lefty righty matchup. McLean is batting 167 this year with runners on and 105 with runners in scoring position. So a bit of a tough, bit of a tough uh, year here for McLean generating these RBIs. Here's the pitch. Strike one. Looking. Slow moving seventh inning here in Amherst, Massachusetts. Not even two hours into this game, and it seems to have come to a screeching halt. Here's the second pitch and the second strike. 0 and 2. No swing from McLean on either one of these pitches. Oh, and two the count. Two outs. Bottom of seven. Two runners on. Here's the pitch. Popped foul to the left side. Out of play. Calero went chasing after that one, but ran out of room. And McLean trying to get on top of these pitches. Uh, or that pitch at least. Dire moments of this game. And I'm trying to get something to work here. The 0 2 once again. Swing and a miss, but the ball gets away. And McLean goes to first. And another drop, third strike. So he did swing on that pitch, but I don't think Jacob Friend realized that the ball was past him, so he didn't move and easily got and easily got Will McLean onto first. So not a great heads up play there by Jacob Friend as the Minutemen now have the bases loaded. I think he thought uh, McLean might have fouled that one off because it completely missed the glove of Friend. As we'll have a mound visit for the Wildcats. But on to 
bat is Nolan Tickey. Fired a home run yesterday, which we've mentioned a couple times. This would be a perfect time for a home run with the bases loaded. The leading run at the plate. Davidson trying to qu or calm down their pitcher. Bennett Flynn hasn't ran into much trouble this season. Yeah, it's important that he stays calm here. Two outs, trying to retire the side here and get out of a dangerous uh, situation that they are in right now. So it's important that he remains calm. Of the mountain visit. Dickey will step into the box. His friend walks back behind the plate. He's ready to swing. Base is loaded. Two outs. Bottom of seven. The first pitch to Dickey. Swinging. Ground ball to the shortstop. And the throw is in time. Tiki grounds out to end the bottom of the seventh. And through seven, it's 3-0 Wildcats. We'll be right back on WMUAX.